Kind of strange. We got like, uh, I don't know, 10 or 12 people outside the studio. Hi to everybody. They're a little weird. They're not... They're kind of just blankly staring for the most part like they're, like Bill said, like they're about to witness an execution or something. Yeah. It's this big window and they're just staring at us. They're chuckling at times, but uh, in general, they're just kind of hanging out. Tomorrow's the big day for the walkover, though. Tomorrow yeah. we're going to do a, a full out. Uh, we're gonna yeah, do you a... guys fucked up. I mean, tomorrow was the day you wanted to be here. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to do the walkover, and then we're inviting everyone up here to have free food from uh, Rivoli's. Mm-hmm. We were trying to like just walk into a diner and take it over, but uh, I don't know. We couldn't yeah, work it out, unfortunately. So we'll have free food up here tomorrow. All right? Um... You want to try this or what? You guys want to play a little game with us today? We love games with the audience. Well, we got people from Chicago, San Antonio, Minneapolis, a uh, military dude from Albuquerque, right? Oh, yeah. I, I talked to him on the way over. Madison, Wisconsin. Air Force guy, yeah. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Major Nelson. Huh? Major, Major <laughs> Nelson. There you go, yeah. Richmond, Montana, One Philly. One of the most sexually frustrating shows ever. <laughs> it's like well, you just fuck her already. <laughs> Enough. Wait. What show? I was reading. I, I dream, dream of Jeannie. Jeannie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Major Nelson. <laughs> I first saw the show when I was six, and I didn't really know what sex was, but it's just like, why aren't you just grabbing her titties? Yeah, why is he doing something with her, with that girl? <laughs> Instead of hanging oh, out. Oh, master. Bloody. She's hanging all over him. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Throwing that pussy at him. All right. Sorry. And uh, we got a guy from Australia. Who's from Australia? Wow, I wouldn't have thought you. I would have no. thought that guy over there, yeah. By no, this. actually, yeah, you look like you're from Australia. We got a whole bunch of, we got a... Let's hear the uh, accent. We got an what outlaw. a diverse uh, group. Yeah. You, my goodness. This guy this guy here with the glasses looks like he's stealing from some Fortune 500 company, <laughs> and they haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> Australia, what's uh, up? Hello. Ah, say what are you doing I, in New York? Hello. Uh, I'm traveling down the east coast of America. And How do you know about us? Uh, I used to listen to you online because uh, someone I knew online hooked me up with you, and so I just kept making free trial accounts on XM.com. And I, wow. I actually, I, I did That's a gig over in cool. Australia. It's, a, it's unbelievable. Yeah. It's did you really? Cool oh yeah. It was just. I mean, it Damn. sucked. It was Comedy Central. They flew you over there for three days, and then oh. they flew you right back. No, it's you like, got to st- stay like two weeks at least. Oh, just to get adjusted to the time. But yeah. I went over there. But uh, they yeah. only gave you three days. After flying yeah, for it, two straight you're, days, you're flying into a different season for fuck's sake. Yeah, and all sake. the stuff that, yeah, you know, right. like, can, can you give me a couple of days? I actually, I went to the zoo just because I couldn't, because I wanted to see some of the, uh, like, they got some of the most poisonous snakes in the world. So that shit all fascinates me. But I hate when you go to the zoo and they're just laying there. Like, I wanted to. I think it would be funny if, stuff? like, an Australian yeah. zoo had shit that we don't care about. Like, because, like, in these zoos in America, you go there and they show you animals from Africa and stuff like that. But you go down to an Australian zoo and there's, like, a fucking Squirrels possum and, and a squirrel, squirrel. Yeah. and shit that just <laughs> runs around here. But, but to them, it's like, no, nah, it's fascinating. You got It's a fucking squirrel. <laughs> what the fuck is... Plus, I heard the greatest threat ever. This guy said, I'll headbutt your teeth, you feckin' cunt. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, that's just that's like some fucking rugby shit. <laughs> headbutt your teeth. I felt it. Yeah. Anybody else out there want to talk? You got something on your mind? You want to just play our little game? Why, why they're here? Hey, this guy is, uh, all right, he's got his hand up. What they do. The Fortune 500 guy. <laughs> With his wife from the 1950s. <laughs> Actually, my wife and I are here uh, from San Antonio. We're both teachers. Ah. Oh, teachers. You and like uh, teachers. we want to know when you're bringing the, uh, the traveling virus down to San Antonio, down to Texas. We're teachers and we like swinging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think next year is like where we start hitting those type of places. This year we're still kind of keeping it close to the vest again. Yeah, all the cities that we have like uh, regular radio. Yeah. What is uh, what about uh, Air Force dude? Major Nelson. What are you? Uh, <laughs> Major Nelson. Hey guys, you uh, look like you've been in for for a little while. About Turn six your keys. Years now. The six government years. sent me to keep an eye on Bill. On oh, Bill, yeah. A little too close. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. He's fine. What uh? Seen any action there, my friend? I'm seeing some ribbon. Yeah, I was over in Iraq in yeah. 2003. What What do you do? What's your... Uh... Combat correspondent, public affairs. Fucking Mickey Spillane! <laughs> <laughs> he did something killer. over there. Look at, it, look at all the stuff he's got on his chest. Looks like the Partridge family uh, bust there. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are all those little color yeah, things mean? That, that means he was over there. Well, and then, then uh, I'm airborne, and then yeah. this is my duty badge. And then just different individual awards. 
Like and then, tying knots and shit. Basically, it's the Air Force. Not breaking yeah. the pencil point above and beyond the call of duty. <laughs> Chairborne Holding Ranger. a clipboard. Chairborne <laughs> Ranger. Oh, shit, that's good. <laughs> so, but you guys are the best. Actually, one of the medals is for Katrina, and I had to work the night shift, so I got to listen to you guys overnight out there. Thanks to XM, none of the power work or anything like that. What would you, uh, you go in as? You're, you're kind of up there in rank. Uh, as a lieutenant. Yeah? And now I'm a captain. So you went to uh, what school and... Uh, yeah, I was a ROTC school? cadet. ROTC, huh? Mm-hmm. ROTC Nazi. Fucking A. That's the way to do it. Yeah, whoa. Work your way up. What are you, lifer? No, I'm, I'm separating this summer. So are yeah. you guys hiring or anything like that? Or? Damn, why don't you just stay in? Yeah, really, stay uh, in. The Air Force is downsizing, so they're paying me to separate. They're paying you to leave? Yeah, you believe Why that? would they pay the experienced guys... Like to leave the, the planes that we're buying now are so high speed and so expensive. It and people are living a lot longer. So if I stayed in for twenty years, then they have to take care of me for the next sixty to eighty years. So. They giving you a good well, deal? Yeah, real nice. I mean, yeah. not enough to retire. And of course, I want to move back to Long Island, so it's only uh, it's like a down cost payment. A lot of money too. Yeah. Do you know how to fly a plane? Uh, like a Cessna, but not can. not like a. Is like that a like team. everybody in the Air Force? Does everybody know how to fly, or some people just using the orange sticks? Oh God, yeah, no, we we have God a whole back in. a whole spectrum. Uh, they're only a you know a small percentage of pilots in the Air Force. So. Yeah, this guy's like Cessna, making believe it's an F eighteen. Yeah, <laughs> buzzing yeah. the flight tower. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bill Burr's got uh, the question for today. Oh, the question for today that that you guys Thank all have you, you, you write you write it down on a piece of paper anonymously. You don't have to say your name or anything. Just write it, your answer down on a piece of paper and hand it and in. And then we're going to read them on the air, whatever. And yeah. uh, basically, the question is: What is the one sexual fantasy that you really want to do, but you're too afraid to share it with your partner because you're afraid that he or she would leave you? would leave you I, I was thinking afraid they say no it's like l no I'm leaving no, you yeah, I'm like leaving. I, I'm, I'm going into the, the uh, come on everybody's yeah. been on the internet now and you, you've opened up the, yeah, uh, the dark deep. closet Bill decided to go deep mm -hmm. on yeah we're one. going deep on this one. Oh, maybe yeah. whatever they get upset not, with you not I want to have a threesome yeah not that Unless I'm it's talking like yeah with her mother yeah. Then it would be a, I'm yeah, leaving yeah. you. You gotta add the horrific. Uh, I want I want answers that would make like uh, P. T. Barnum kind of rub his chin, like, eh, could ah, we could we get away right. with that? Yeah, that's ah. all right. Hmm. All right, as they write we, that we down. said it's the freak village. So. Right. Hmm. We got uh, a fine little story here. We got an 88 year old weightlifter as they write their answers to that question, Ugh. Bill. Dude, I'm gonna be that guy. Wait, and you hear that snap when he picks up a fucking weight? I think it's a woman. Endora. Oh, is it? Endora. Endora. When I was when I was in D.C. and uh, I was doing my New Year's resolution, I'm going to the gym. You know, all, you know that lasted through January. Now it's uh. gone. But this this fucking guy was like 70 years old, and it was just like the weight he was putting up. Scary, he, right? Yeah, like he was he was like he was working out with like a buck eighty. Okay, this really? old guy, and he was jacked yet, but his. All the joints, it just every time you lift something up, you're just waiting for that horrific <laughs> uh, some fucking snap. tie rod to snap on him. <laughs> just, oh, God. that's going to make his arm snap in half. Well, oh. it's a woman. She holds the record for deadlifting 100 pounds. 100 pounds. 100 pounds. Well, she's 80. She's 80. 80. 80. For Andorra Quinby. Stand up. Andorra. Stand up. Come on. <laughs> Right, you got the muscle head trainer. Come yeah, on, come on. Come on. One more. Come on, one Ethel. More. One more. All you, Ethel. <laughs> right, all, all you. All you. Not helping. Not helping at all, Ethel. <laughs> all you. What are you, a pussy? <laughs> Going to the gym oh. is a mission. Very good. Okay, one second. At 88, Quinby holds the world record in her age group for deadlifting 100 pounds. I have a few trophies. <laughs> and is the oldest female competing in the International All-Around Weightlifting Association. Very little competition. <laughs> Quinby started lifting when she was 78. God help me get it up. <laughs> Oh, now, a decade says too. later, she's hoping the attention she's getting will encourage others to pick up a bar. <laughs> pick up a bar, go to one. Yeah. It's a factor in keeping positive and being able to accomplish things in your personal relations and also to help you look a little bit younger, just a little bit. Wendy says no matter what their age, 
Weightlifters should wear protective belts and practice proper form. Something she does under the close guidance of her trainer, John Vernaccio. She's got two years to go into 80, 85 to 90, and then she'll move into the 90-year-old age group. And uh, she may find a couple competitors there, too, when, when, when she gets there. Oh, that big muscle head's just, like, got her whole thing planned out. All right. What All happens right. when you hear that grotesque snap? When old graham cracker hip fucking gives out. <laughs> and her womb falls out because she's struggling so much. <laughs> and she's fucking dead within two months. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, is that horrible? Uh, wow. That's a whatever story. No, no you it's know what? That, 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 guy, Sorry. that guy. Sorry, Bill. In, I'll be a positive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it gives us all hope, right, Bill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. That guy in D.C., even though he was still jacked, he just still had that old guy chest. Even though he had, like, the pecs, that it's still somewhere. It's not down by your navel, but it's it's kind of in that middle ground. But it kind of looked yeah. like an elephant's ass. <laughs> oh, well, you know what it is? Played a little tighter than you know what it is? other old guys. You know, you miss days going to the gym, but, like, gravity never takes a day off. Yeah, gravity, gravity is constant. Gravity hits the gym every fucking day. It's just pulling, you, <laughs> pulling you down every day. And like, so you does. could have the pecs. But your skin and everything over that muscle is being pulled down. So the bigger your pecs get, the kind of sillier it looks because it looks like you got droopy tits. No, you know, you, I can't explain it. You know, you know that you know that old guy chest. At some point, I don't know what the fuck happens when you look in the mirror and you finally have that thing. It's just ugh. Uh, All right, we Can gonna get a chest there? lift. What do they do? Cut your shoulders and pull and sew it. <laughs> Bill came up with today's question. What is it again there, Bill? Oh, the question again is, uh, what is the sexual fantasy? The one sexual fantasy that you really love to do, but you don't, you'd never tell your partner about it because you'd be afraid that they'd leave you. Uh, we have a lot of couples out there, right? Everyone's pretty much paired up except for uh, uh, maybe a couple guys. Now, the second half of this is we got to try to guess. Oh, yeah. You're, and we're going to try to guess. If you don't want to play, that's fine. Don't feel like, oh, fuck, now i got to admit this horrific thing. And you want to do the first one? <laughs> All right. The first fantasy coming out of the uh, little... And I'll try to see who looks down at the floor first. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, suck off my CO while I fly a fighter jet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing, of course. <laughs> <laughs> who could it be? Uh... <laughs> now, this really says this. Who wrote shit on an Australian's face? <laughs> someone wrote that. Could you stop it? All right, Give me another that, one. Okay. Someone that That's didn't want to play. All right, yeah, someone that thought they were being funny, and it kind of was. It is funny. All right. We are looking for real answers, though. Wow. It says sex, period, nothing else. Now, do they mean sex on a period yeah, or sex, period? Like, is someone not getting sex? I guess we got a bunch of comedy writers out there. Yeah, yeah. we needed to do it, and it, they just—they need to feel safe. Yeah, they—they they really do. Uh, sex, just sex. Maybe they're not getting anything. I don't know. Who's not getting? That sounds sex? like somebody that's a little Bill, uh, who, frustrated. Who do you think's not getting sex? There's one around the corner too. You can't say. Uh, ooh, the match is not he's getting hi sex. He's hiding his face. I'm gonna go with the jolly guy in the back. He just seems too fucking like he's just. Yeah, he's he, he would just be too. Uh, with the wow hat. Yeah. You got it, Bill. Yeah. You got it. Wait, that you wow. right? things are a little slow lately. I mean, what can I wow. say? Family, you know, everything I'll else. I say you married. Yeah. Are you shitting me? I really picked you up. Yeah. How many kids? One. <laughs> One kid, and you're that, not. That that right there, that giggle. We'll so stop you from getting pussy. You yep. can deliver a great <laughs> line, sweep a girl off her feet, and then then the last second she just sees you lose confidence as you go. <laughs> Dude, out of all these guys, you're pretty good, man. You picked it out. Yep. So no sex. What What do you think the problem is? It's just fucking working all the time. Nah. Is she, did she get you know conflicting schedules and you know? Is she a little sloppy now too? You're nah. not really into it. No, no, we we both stay pretty consistent since we've been married. She hasn't you, become a fatty or anything since. Were you in the uh, the room during the birth? Uh, yes. And uh, did that? It was uh, a C-section. Okay. Oh God. So, and and that you, that's my riveting radio for the day. No, Sorry, no, guys. no. Like, did it affect your performance later on? No. How long? Oh shit, that's been nine years ago. Yeah. Do you still remember what it looked like though? Was it gross and like fucking? We were there talking was about fucking like a partition between me and the fucking. Uh, oh, I see. The, put yeah, up, it's put called the little... waiting room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> where the, the fuck everybody want. should be. Well, I want it. partition to be about ten floors. <laughs> when was the last time you had sex with your wife? Oh, jeez. 
Uh, it's been a couple weeks, I guess. Oh, that's not that bad. I know, that's not bad. It's not that good either. I know, it's not that good. Kind of just there. He just wants some. Yeah. All right. What can I oh, say? Good job, Bill. Bill, good job. Uh, Bill, pick to you. Right out. All right. I'll never do that again. That's like hitting a half court yeah, shot. No, People go, do it again. You gotta, nah, you we got to play it up. Nah, nah, I already did it. <laughs> did it once. You do it, faggot. Uh, <laughs> this one just says. He's already done it, or she's already done it, working on something more hardcore. Working on something more hardcore? What? The fuck does that mean? means basically the fucked up fantasy that this person, they bit the bullet, and they presented it, and somehow they got through it, they did it, and now they're working on something more hardcore. Oh, even more hardcore. Yeah. Oh. Which is the dangers of porn. You know, you start off with something simple, Wait, anyone like a Sears Roebuck catalog, then it's the next thing, yeah. Snowballs on you. Anyone want to, you want to explain out there, anybody? I would say that's share? probably... Yeah, who the, out there, who out there did it? I'm going to pick the... Uh, the most unlikely couple, the school teachers. No, no. that's not. I was going to go with this guy right here. No. Damn it. No. Now it's just silly. We oh, can what just the keep fuck? Picking. The guy with the nose ring. Is this you? Done it? No? Yeah, now we suck. Does anyone want to share? Now we're missing layups. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> jolly happy guy who hasn't been laid in two weeks. Just uh-huh. like we suck. <laughs> she raised her hand. Oh. Wait, get the mic over to her. She'll explain. Oh, what's your name? My name is Molly. That's where, not my real name. It's where are you yeah, from, Molly? I'm telling you guys. Oh, okay. Her from real Philly. name is Kathy. Philly. All right. And what's that one about? Um, is I that got your boyfriend into... over there? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's half right. Huh? Yeah. It's half right. Done it with him. But um, yeah, I'm into the whole kind of dominatrix stuff, experimenting, oh. and he, I gotta break him in a little bit more before. You know. Wow, you got to break him in, huh? Yeah. So you want to dominate him? Yeah. And what have you done so far? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, if I hear fucking baby. <laughs> no, he's got a, he got a couple of welts a couple of times. Yeah? Mm, yeah. From a whip or your hand or a paddle? Uh, there's one whip and uh, the studded belt. The studded belt. Yeah. What do you think uh, makes you like like this? Uh, who am I? Anthony. Anthony. Yeah, I'm over here where you can't see me. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Make believe it's uh, radio. How did belt? What is I it? I don't know. Come on, Gelman. Yeah, cause Take you... it back to my childhood. I don't know. Why? Something crazy happened? No. Do you need the? Do you feel this need to uh, take out aggression on men or something? Or no, is... actually, um, I was dominated once. Oh yeah. Yeah. How'd that work out it for was, you? It was awesome. You liked it? I loved it. Do you still like being dominated, or you just want to... I'd rather be the, the dominator. Yeah. yeah. So what did this person dominator. do when they were dominating you that you liked so much? Uh, it's actually, it's kind of embarrassing because... It's all right. It Has happened. your boyfriend ever heard this before? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, boy. All right. Continue. Molly. It was happened, uh, it happened with somebody that uh, was not nearly as good looking as me. Oh, and yeah. I'm not like cream of the crap, so it was, you know, pretty low. Pretty low. So, so <laughs> oh some, so some, some ugly skanky guy, guy yeah. got to dominate you. Yeah. And what did he do to you that was dominating? That was Pushed so hot. Pushed your head into the dashboard. You know, what, what, what happened? <laughs> yeah, what was? What did he do that was so hot that got you turned on? Uh, no, nah, I don't need to go there. Uh, oh, just a little. Wow. Just, just for that free chance the pass, the that uh, he's listening and I run into him at a bar or something. I just, I don't. Did it no. involve urine? No. Uh, I'm going to go the other way. No. The, the password is rape fantasy. Uh, <laughs> rape fantasy. There you go. You're closer than the whole uh, yeah? fecal okay. thing. That's, uh, yeah, that's you, disgusting. I went right I have for my the, limits. You yeah. pretty much uh, were, he took you by force. From behind. No, well, see, we didn't have sex. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was like, um, it was a... Uh, a BJ. Uh, what, he just slapped you around? Th- there was no uh, fluid... We we weren't mixing any kind of fluids. Or really? Not. Really? This it was, is interesting. Uh, so he just like tied you to his chin up bar and just <laughs> threw a toaster much. at you. I mean, what yeah. happened? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she's willing to tell us. We just got to work her a little bit. Yeah, come on. We've no, been doing this a well, long time. Let's go. You nah, can tell us. Nah, we're, nah, nah. 
We're so you know what? Speak us. it, speak it like in code. We can figure she something. Keeps looking back at her boyfriend too. Are like, you alright with this? Okay? He He's does, cool. I'm already, you know, on his shit list today. I don't need to. I'll say you are into that. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought you meant you had a list of things to get to. <laughs> a list of people I have to shit on, literally. <laughs> <laughs> no, huh? Why are you on a shit list for something you did today or something? We don't need to worry about that. Yeah. Yeah. You're just having a bad day, an argument day? I'm in so much trouble. Just let's drop that. Yeah, but that sounds like yeah, something so, you want so to be back, in. Back to uh, fetish. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. You went out. Is that it? So the guy... Uh, no. no. it's nothing like that? The guy had no. his way Getting with lippy. you. Getting lippy. Yeah, but it, it was awesome. I recommend Mouthing that off. people try it. What do you put, like chip clips on your nipples or something? <laughs> That would look I'm just silly. That there's no <laughs> those big bag clips would look there's, silly. There's no, there's no intercourse going on or any yeah. sort of oral going on. I mean, what do you, I'm thinking of household things. Uh, yeah, how do you dominate? Mushed you in the face with a mop. Spanking, uh, you know, spanking, <laughs> spanking. It's kind of like a foreplay, um, mm. like uh, rough foreplay, oh. very rough foreplay, like, like, like some biting. Yeah, of the face. like you have bruises the next <laughs> wow. day. Wow, like punch work. Light, yeah. light bruises, not like battered housewife yeah. bruises. Yeah, like holding you down, slapping yeah. your face a little. Yeah. Wow. All yeah. right. That's she kinky. sounded like, you know, when the person on the, the $20,000 pyramid, the person just isn't getting it, and the other person can't think of any other clues to get them. They just go on. It's like rough foreplay. Rough foreplay. Foreplay. Rough, aren't uh, you getting uh, this? Rough, rough foreplay. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> um, uh, well, I, I can tell you about him. Can yeah. Uh, okay. What did he say? He told me I was going to ruin his little story, but no, it's it's always. Oh, because you to... you wrote something down. All right, good. Yeah. So all right. Okay. We'll get back to you, Molly. For his birthday, I got him handcuffs. Oh. And I put our names on it. Aww. I got it engraved. It's, it's so horrible. cute. What floor is that at it in Tiffany's? <laughs> Sixth floor? That's the basement. basement yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's the obvious joke. Thanks, Bill. But anyway, you know, handcuff them up, beat the hell out of them, get what I want, degrade a little bit verbally. Rough foreplay. <laughs> um, rough foreplay? Uh, <laughs> hysterical, Bill. Uh, <laughs> Automobile. Um, uh, rough foreplay. Play, rough. Rough. Foreplay. That's good. All right. You're not going to... You, you guys been uh, fighting for just the day or for a week or what? I guess since we were about 15 years old. Oh, okay. You no. guys have known each other that long. Yeah. Well, you don't seem that old, actually. How old no. are you? 23. Yeah, okay. I was going to guess it. Hey, yeah. uh, all right. Sit down. We're going to get back to Molly, obviously. Uh, the next fantasy out there... What does it build? This is stuff you're not you you're too scared to admit to. Your yeah, some, a sexual right. fantasy you want to do with your your partner, but you're afraid to bring it up because you think they're gonna dump you. This one is I would like to fuck my wife doggy style, while she eats out of a of a dog bowl and howls. Mmm. <laughs> Who could that be? Wow. I think this is real too. Fucker doggy style while she eats out of a dog the teacher bowl. is not is avoiding eye contact. He's looking away. That could be. I, I, we might have to go back to the Molly couple, I'm, I'm thinking. thinking. Yeah. I think Thank they're you. freaky. Uh, uh, mm, no. Yeah. Not him. Uh, Australia? Oh, no. He would have said dingo. Yeah. <laughs> Dingo. Dingo's <laughs> a dead giveaway. Or koala, some <laughs> dingo dumb animal we don't have over here. <laughs> it's a nice what snake. What the fuck a dingo? Who you want to? Who you want to point out? He's saying wife, so it's got to be somebody married. Oh, how about this guy right here? Right, right in the front, front row. God damn it! No. This is relaxed uh, confidence. I'm gonna go with school teachers. School teachers. School teacher, you. Oh, damn it! I should have gone. I said he was looking away. I yeah, suck. Yeah. The teachers are the wow. freakiest people on earth. Yeah, man. teachers Who are, are you freaky. Kidding? Oh, teachers that's are great. Freaky. That is a good so one. So she's hearing this for the first time. Well, we've uh, tried stuff before, and you oh. know, uh, we're down here on our tenth tenth uh, year wedding anniversary, and you know, we, we get along just yeah. fine. We have two kids, and uh, we've tried some stuff before. I, I think this would just be something kind of funny, something kind of comical to do. You, li you like to mix uh, funny with your with your sex, huh? Yes. 
That's always great funny. for a, that's always great for a hard on just to start <laughs> belly laughing. <laughs> so she would have to howl also. Have you ever howled? No way. No, nah, huh? You would never do this. Is never. It a, is it a particular breed you want her to sound like? Yeah. A Bichon Frise. A, a bigger dog, more of a Cocker Spaniel, a pug. And where does this come from? Oh, just trying to think of something uh, different to do. Yeah. Well, you've thought of this. Yeah. This comes from being married for 10 years and never <laughs> cheating on your wife. Absolutely. You're really starting to scrape the bottom of the barrel. What or is maybe it? opening a trap door. Yeah. What does the wife think of this? We're all the catches, the king crab legs and shit. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Wifey, what do you think? Are you shocked that he said that? Not shocked. Not shocked. But he's funny like that. So funny. That doesn't shock me that much. What's the craziest, th- the craziest thing you guys are willing to admit to that you've done? Body shots. Yeah. Body shots. Body shots? We got, we were, well, I was... Uh, you could do that on spring break. I know. Oh, I skipped that. And actually, we were up at a, a camp, and I was—it's uh, a music camp up in the mountains, and uh, we got kind of wild. It was just the two of us, and you know, we had a lot of tequila, a lot of body shots, and had a good time. Oh, all right, yeah. but they want to step it up with the doggy thing. Yeah, it's a big <laughs> leap from uh, <laughs> yeah, body shots. Some shot. sort of hacky coming of age movie. Yeah. yeah. Up at the camp, a music camp. Were there other people there? Body shots. I was thinking like left yeah. hooks to yeah. the liver. Did you uh, uh, hook up with any of them and drink, or uh, we hung out a little bit? Body there. shots off anyone else? Yeah, no? kind of uh, up up the road there. There's uh, some natural hot springs, and this people, is people made it a habit of, of going up there and, and stripping down and hanging out. Yeah, I didn't get to do that. No, but, huh? uh, uh, this is just the calm before the storm. He's just too calm. Well, you know, we just kind of yeah, we just uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets crazy. Oh, yeah. He's gonna accidentally choke her to death. Okay, next couple. <laughs> Behind closed doors, they get crazy. Auto erotic. All right, moving on to yeah. moving. Choke other Give it out. to Ant there. Oh, wait, wait. let's see. Dig deep. Get a good one. <laughs> uh, fuck in a high school. Hmm. Someone out there wants to fuck in a high school. No, you're done already. Don't worry, bud. Could be your wife, though. She's Am I gonna go no back to the well gonna... again? This guy is not. Fuck! Uh, did, did you know the same guy? I, he's got this shifty look about him. Uh, Air Force? No, huh? I think it's. Oh, uh, why didn't I pick the guy with the glasses and the wow hat? Is that uh, you? Damn it. Yeah. Why the fuck didn't I pick him? <laughs> what the fuck in a high Why did school? I? Wait, what's that about? There you go. I really don't know. You look like you're still in high school. No. How old are you? 21. 21, all right. A couple years out. A few years out. Well, shit, you could go get an 18-year-old. Yeah, I think it's just because I wanted to fucking, like, you know, school bathroom for some reason. I just never got that, so. So that's like, would be a huge turn on to you if yes. you could accomplish that. I don't think the chick would really leave me for it but it's mm. fancy she would just yeah, take it fancy. down a few notches can we go to like a Denny's bathroom and we just <laughs> okay. have to be in high school alright what would be the ultimate a teacher or just your girlfriend yeah high school teacher high school teacher absolutely a high school teacher oh, fancy. Fancy. I think I wanted to bang just about any any teacher I had who was any remotely teacher, fuckable no, I any, wanted to fuck any teacher that showed cleavage that's all they had to do oh yeah in high school that was it mm. you look at some of them about now the, and you're what? like what was I thinking the gym teacher Huh? The uh, female gym teacher. Yeah, right. They never showed the cleavage. <laughs> nah. It was, was always that one haughty teacher. Like I don't know what her deal was. Frustrated in her marriage, would just come to school dressed just with <laughs> completely Tons of inappropriately, just ridiculous. Right. I had a uh, foreign language Mine was teacher. A French teacher. I swear to God, this. She used to wear these dresses with a slit like halfway up her thigh. We were like, in, I don't even know what she's she thinking when she's getting it, dressed. You know, in the you know what I'm saying? You're and 15, then, where you get a boner when the, the wind blows and she's showing up to class. Yeah, like I think that. I told this story before. Yeah. So one day she came and she had slits up both sides of her fucking dress. And every time she would step back from the board, you could literally not only see the thigh on one side, you saw the inner thigh of her other wow. fucking leg. That's like hardcore sex yep, back then. That's man. porno. Dude, that's raging. Porno. Yeah. Raging fucking hard. That's strip then, club. Then she the ends kids. up, she called on me, and I wasn't paying attention. I tried to lie my way out of it. And she was screaming at me, like, 
to this ridiculous level. I don't know if there's some bullshit going on in her personal life looking back. <laughs> it was like, it was so over the top the way she was yelling at me, but I just didn't have the courage to be like, you know, you know what I was doing? I was looking at your fucking legs. You should have you know? said that. Why don't, said you, that. why don't you put some goddamn clothes on and maybe yeah, I'll know dressed. how to say the days of the week in French. <laughs> Let's say hi to Chris in Pennsylvania. Chris, what's up? Hey, Bill Burr got stepped all over. How can oh, nobody shit. laugh at left hooks to the liver? I didn't even hear. I'll hear oh, yeah, we were talking about the replay. body shots. Yeah, oh, body oh, okay. shots. Very good. The one you see we talking about, the picture of Mickey Ward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know that shot that you just don't get up from? Yeah. Like your Arturo Gotti who somehow got up. Bill, it's to you, I think. Read another oh. one there. Okay. Here we In go. Riveting game. Yes. We'll, we'll do... Uh, all right, fuck that one. If it's boring, just throw He's it just away. just as sick as me. What is it? Nothing... All right, so oh, some God. people will be this safe today. That's like oh, one. here's a oh, you great one? one. All right, this is this is a great one. This is my favorite one. Uh, <laughs> suck cock on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Rosa Parks out there. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Oh, that's great. Suck cock on a bus. I'm just fascinated by the whole bus thing. I'm not uh, why, why, counting out. Jim? I'm not counting out the guys either. <laughs> Major <laughs> Nelson. Yeah, he's like, hey, dude, chill. Come on, he's got a bus uniform. You got the Air Force. Don't uniform. ask, don't tell. Uh, Girl in the back. No. Nah, no. that was the obvious choice. Does she look like a bus cocksucker? <laughs> um, Let's see. Let's go. How about the... that cutie pie in the back? No. No, we gotta go. Damn to the... it. We gotta go to the front row on this one. Uh oh. Front row. Oh. Yeah, I, love I love that front telling row. smile. There you go. <laughs> it's like we should do it like to tell the truth. Yeah. Where they got to do the phony kind they of do the stand fake up. stand up and it's oh that's it. Next time we'll do that. Wow. wow. Look at the husband. Husband huh? boyfriend. No boyfriend. Whatever. What? Sorry man. Didn't mean to put pressure on the relationship. Yeah. What boyfriend are you doing though. There, Bill? Have, Chicago. All right. uh, you yeah. you had no idea she was into that huh? No, nothing surprises me with her anymore. Yeah, you guys. Get, she, she could have said that to me. You get into some wild things. Actually, for the most part, we're pretty normal. Uh, I had sex anything. at a Bears game once. Oh yeah, you did. Not with me though. In the stands, no, not with him. Oh, <laughs> in the stands. You know, the cameraman can see r everything. The and Bears must have been really winning or really losing. They, at that it was point. pretty boring. Yeah, yeah it was, was a way say. back before the Super Bowl. <laughs> but where were you? Way up top? Yeah. See, they, the they cameras zoom Shea right Stadium. in. See, people at Chase Stadium do that, and they think they're getting away with something. Everyone knows what they're doing. Yeah. They go way <laughs> up top. Way up top, and all of a sudden you just, yeah. Mm. Exactly. How did, how, did you pull that, how did you pull that off? Are you wearing a dress? Skirt. Skirt, okay. Yeah. You just Skirt. sit down. <laughs> sit down on the seat. Yeah. And then get up and then sit back down again. And right, get up right. And sit back down yeah. again, like like, you're, like you uh, can't make up your mind. Down in front. Thank do I want to? Do I want to be here? Do I not? Oh, down know? in front. Thank you. <laughs> you're doing one of those hacky uh, charity events where you have to sit in every seat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you're sitting in the same seat over and over again. <laughs> and uh, so, what is it about the bus? Yeah, the bus thing. I like that. It's in public like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. But I mean, there's parks. There's you know, there's, something, there's a lot there's of something, people on a bus though. But Bill, you're you know? into that too. You said that that's something. You said that's one of my favorites or something like that. Where you're. What do you mean? Well, questions. No, 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 no. I I, I, my, my, I thought it was the most original. Oh, okay. It just right. kind of twisted. Everybody's got the. Uh, like this is one of my favorites. I want to suck cock on a bus too. It's, oh yeah. <laughs> right. Greyhound bus, school bus. Short Any bus. Kind of bus. Any bus. Any yeah, bus. Retard bus. bus, whatever. That's you know. great. Why don't you do it while you're Fucking in New York? With hockey a hockey helmet, helmet in your lap. You know. Do it in New York. Get on yeah. one of those get dumb uh, double-decker tour bus. Tour oh, bus. Get on the top uh, deck there. You know what? Keeping with the theme of giving some people some hope, how yeah. can we make these th her fantasy come true? We should. we should. How much does it really cost for a bus ticket? <laughs> Wait, we got it. Maybe we can do it on the R train on the way back to the hotel. <laughs> Yeah. Subway bus still public. What's the craziest thing you guys have done? Craziest? Oh. I don't know. Yeah, you too. In the parents' backyard. Right. Yeah. That's probably about it. You yeah. like that uh, outside shit, huh? No, yeah, right. she, you know, her parents live on a farm, so yeah. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> that pasture, no animals that pasture Sorry, shit. That's nice. <laughs> Fucking goat starts licking your asshole while you <laughs> got her bent over. Bill, let's uh, do one last one. Okay. Goats, by the way, are probably the, the fucking greatest. Oh, I, was, I always fuck with dogs, and I turn them into, like, attack dogs. Yeah. But goats naturally 
Oh, they will like fuck you. with you. Yeah, so I, I like those things. And, wow. And, and you, you, you kind of hit them in the horns, and they put their head down and chase you. Yeah, and, like and they'll and nail but, you in but, the shin and fucking hurt. But they're having a good time. So yeah, they're you, having you're not fun. fucking it up. Like yeah. we, we used to always have West Highland Terriers. We turned every one of them <laughs> into a no questions asked. If you weren't part of the family, the second you walked in the house, this thing would just latch onto your leg. Like I'm talking, like YouTube Killer. gold. <laughs> you could kick goats in the head, and and they just come after you. No, but I they like to have fun. And they come yeah. in from the side. They come in you with yeah, angles. Yeah, they do that. They get up on their hind legs, kind of walk a little, and go sideways, and, and then wail you with their fucking horns. Yeah, it's like... Uh, and I'm they're having fun. There's two great ones left. All right. Everyone, everyone else skates. This one. Everyone else skates today. Oh, Jesus. All right. This one. Uh, let me look. Suck whipped cream out of her anus. <laughs> Uh, that Sucked guy. All right. cream who looks like out a, of her anus. Who looks like a baker out there? Yeah, what? Because uh, <laughs> you know you'd have to put it in with that fancy gourmet. Uh, yeah, how they little, dispense it. The little bag that they squeeze with the so it looks mold like a flower, on the front. Yeah. It looks like a flower. By yeah. The, by the way, people are reminding us that we shouldn't uh, have um, sex in public things going on anymore. Oh, maybe. We kind of forgot. Yeah. Why? What happened? Well, because we're trying to get uh, her to suck his cock on a, on a bus. Something today. bad happened once? Well, maybe. I, we forgot. How about involving? a bus and sex in public. Yeah. That's great. We'll take two fucking things we got in trouble for. Well, Molly's guy laughed too hard, so I don't think it's him. Mm. Lick whipped cream out of her anus. I'm not a food sex guy. I kind of. That's why I hate hooters. Yeah, it's either you know, like combining the food two, and yeah. sex thing. It's dude in I front. want food to be the focus. I think it's the guy right up front here. No. Nah. It right might. there with the hat? You? No, no, no. But it can't be Molly. It's either the Australian dude or Molly's... Major Nelson. The Chuck Yeager over there? Major Nelson. No. Major Nelson? No. No, no. It's got to be Australia then, right? Aussie? Yeah. Oh, yeah he's a dirty go. boy. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> he's a dirty boy. Uh, like I gotta love cream. Australia. Is that your chick next to you? Yeah. Wow. Have you ever heard this one before, ma'am? <laughs> what? Has she ever heard this before? No. No? Are you shocked? No. No? No. He gets a little crazy? Look, I, I know he has crazy ideas, uh, yeah. More importantly, are you going to make it happen? Sure. Yeah. Wow. Hey. Did that t- Making dreams come true right here. <laughs> That's <laughs> something. <laughs> Did that give you a little tingle when uh, you found out it was him? The, a little. Oh, a, a little. <laughs> Gonna get some whipped cream, uh, go to the hotel. That, that ends the fantasy when the other person's not into it. Like, well, all right. Yeah, well, all right. You well. like doing that? Uh, She's just gonna be on all fours looking over her shoulder going, nah, you done? You need me to do what? Like what? <laughs> Reading Us <laughs> magazine. Yeah. Uh, what do you want? The cool whip or the yeah. other it's cold. stuff Stop in the it. can? All right, very good. Anything else for that Australian dude? I don't know. Where uh, Have you ever done anything like that? No. No? Nothing. How are the girls in Australia? Kinky? No. No? No, not at all. I heard they are. No. It's weird. Where are you from in Australia? Melbourne. 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 So it's Melbourne or Sydney. All right. Because that's the only two cities there are, right? It's the only places that are civilized out there. The rest of them are just aborigines with didgeridoos and shit. Oh, we know that, yeah. There's alligators everywhere and uh, kangaroos jumping everywhere. And you can't even go out west. No, no. Holy shit. They're still on the east coast out there. They're (laughs) just the coast. Everything else is a wasteland. Where uh, only the road warrior drives around. <laughs> uh, let's go to Ryan. Uh, Ryan, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey, hey. man. You guys uh, stepped on an- another line. Aunt had a line. Uh, you're talking about the girl that wanted to suck cock. And uh, you're talking about the different buses. And when you mentioned the short bus, Aunt said, uh, yeah, that'd be good. You'd have a guy with a hockey helmet in your lap. Uh, <laughs> I didn't yes, hear it. Well, yeah. that's very okay. good. Uh, craziest yeah. thing I ever did. I had sex under a table at F.H. Riley's during the St. Paddy's Day bash this Saturday starting at 11.30 a.m. at 400 New York Avenue oh. in the heart of Huntington Village. So What a plug. Who's, <laughs> who's that? That was uh, Nate Sack from Whackbag, Jericho, Long Island. Yeah, the party starts uh, very early at F.H. Riley's nice this Saturday. plug. And we're doing the, the karaoke starting at 8 o'clock. You're going, right? Oh, yeah. All right, good. i got to get out there at some point. Where, where, yeah. where exactly is that? In the heart of Huntington Village, yeah. Is that Long Island? Yeah, it's about 50 minutes from right here. 50? Without traffic. Ah, fuck that. All right, here's the last one. And we got to get out on time because 
today. <laughs> no, that's all right. Whatever. I don't have a car. You know how long yeah, that takes? Yeah, whatever. It's car. fine. Um, Switching trains and standing on platforms. <laughs> we yes, we right. got to leave on time today because they're doing the hello bit from uh, Antoinette. Remember? Oh, yeah. The Rick Springfield hello call because yep. we were talking about prize pr- uh, pigs prize recently. Pigs. So we got a few requests for that. The, the last fantasy from the studio audience... Uh, was to see me at Caroline's next weekend. Thank that you, Bill. Fantasy. Wow. Thank you. Wow. That Fuck seat is magic for plugs. It's like Jimmy. He just Fuck his right father. Up. Fuck his father. Or wear a strap on. Oh, Bill. She gave herself away. She's hiding. She's like... She wants to just disappear. She couldn't keep herself together. It's the one in the back row. Look at her. She's losing her mind. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Fuck the boyfriend's father. Is that your boyfriend right there? I'm Molly's sister. <laughs> oh, oh you that two explains are just it. nuts. <laughs> and what what is her fan- fantasy? She wants to fuck his father. Who are you going out with? Is he here? No, we broke up. Oh, oh. But well. I still so want to bone his dad. How old is his dad? Ah, oh, he's forty something. Yeah. How old are you? Oh my. Way younger than that. Twenty one. Twenty one, and he's upper forties. Where is he at? Yeah, maybe early fifties. We have to. We have to investigate this. Did do you think he ever picked up vibes? Did you, were you ever like flirting with no. him? No. 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 What is it about his father? Well, it was his stepdad for one, and he was just hot. This was really hot. Oh my Jesus God. Christ! Everyone's just uh. like. Flabbergasted. I would just like, I mean, how great would your life be if you were actually that 40 year old that's some fucking 21? All, all I'm thinking of is that fucking American movie, Beauty. Poison Ivy. Oh, Poison with Ivy. Tom Skerritt just fucking, who was it, Drew Barrymore? Or, or yeah. And she's just, she's just fucking her on the piano stool. And then his daughter walks in and kind of sees it. Oh, my God. That's exactly what that fucking... Wow, the Molly family is kinky. What happened when you guys were growing up? (laughs) So you broke up with this boyfriend, though? Yeah. Yeah? Not not exciting enough? Uh, He was cheating. Oh, (laughs) well. With your mom? (laughs) That would have been an ironic twist to the whole thing. And what's up with your revenge fuck? Yeah. And what's up with the strap-on thing? Oh, he was such a queer. I just, I would have loved to bend him over and fuck him like a bitch. I just hated him. Wow. How long did you guys go out? How long did you go out? A year. A year? A year, and you wanted to fuck him in the ass with a strap-on. Oh, I would have loved to. (laughs) Shoot. Bill, you, you and there is no, like, not believing that statement no, no, whatsoever. No, no, absolutely would like to. All right. Well, uh, give and, you guys and this a round is, this of is what This is what he would yeah, look like fantastic. afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Bravo. Like visual jokes on the radio. <laughs> That's all right. I left. 